Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome to Sunday Evening Vespers. And it's good to have Sister Sue join us this evening. And whoever else is here, we welcome you to our time together, where we come and give thanks to God. I've already lit my candle, and if you have one and you'd like to light it, then that would be good too. And this evening, we offer our prayers this evening for a dear friend, someone who's going through a pretty tough time right now within their organization. It's for Nina, Nina Meyerhoff in America. So let us just for a moment be still as we gather in the presence of God and remember our dear sister and all the work that she's done for the charity she set up there to support young people to live in peace. Let us be still and know that God is here, that God is present and that nothing is impossible for God. Amen. And we begin our evening prayer this evening by just inviting you to be still and to remind yourself that we are all one in the presence of God. O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this Sunday evening Praise my soul, the King of Heaven, to his feet your tribute bring, ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven, who like me his praise should sing. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise the everlasting King. Praise him for his grace and favour to our fathers in distress. Praise him still the same forever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Glorious is his faithfulness. Father, like he tends and spurs us, will our feeble frame he knows. In his hand he gently bears us, rescues us from all our foes. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, widely as his mercy flows. Angels, help us to adore him. Ye behold him face to face, sun and moon bound thou before him dwellers all in time and space. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise with us the God of grace. The first antiphon, Christ the Lord is a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. And now we read Psalm 109, and the theme of this psalm, the Messiah is king and priest. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will yield from Zion, your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountain, from before the dawn, I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Christ the Lord is a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek, Alleluia. And the second antiphon, our God is in heaven, he has power to do whatever he wills, Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 113, and the theme of this psalm, praise of the God of truth. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathen say, where is their God? But our God is in the heavens, he does whatever he wills. Their idols are silver and gold and the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have nostrils, but they cannot smell. With their hands they clay, they cannot feel. With their feet they cannot walk. No sound comes from their throats. Their makers will come to be like them and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. He remembers us and he will bless us. He will bless the sons of Israel. He will bless the sons of Aaron. The Lord will bless those who fear him, the little no less than the great. To you may the Lord grant increase, to you and all your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to men. The dead shall not praise the Lord, nor those who go down into the silence. But we who live bless the Lord now and forever. Amen. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our God is in heaven. He has power to do whatever he will. Alleluia. The third antiphon. Praise God, all you his servants, both great and small. Alleluia. And now for a canticle reading from the book of Revelation and the theme of the canticle, the marriage feast of the Lamb. Alleluia. Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. His judgments are true and just. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The marriage of the Lamb has come, and the bride has made herself ready. Alleluia. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise God, all you his servants, both great and small. Alleluia. And now, my dear friends, we come to the scripture reading for this Sunday evening, and it's from Paul to two Thessalonians. We feel that we must be continually thanking God for you. Brothers and sisters whom the Lord loves because God chose you as the first fruits to be saved by the sanctifying spirit and by faith in the truth. Through the good news that we brought, he called you to this so that you should share the glory of our Lord Jesus, the cosmic Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, great is our Lord, great is his might. Great is our Lord, great is his might. His wisdom can never be measured. Great is our Lord, great is his might. 
Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. Great is our Lord, great is his might. And the Magnificat Antiphon, Blessed are you who are in need, the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who hunger now, you shall be satisfied. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, we come to the Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty handed. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you who are in need. The kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who hunger now, you shall be satisfied. And now, my dear friends, we come to our evening intercessions. Through the gospel, the Lord Jesus calls us to share in his glory. Let us make our prayer with him to our heavenly Father, Mother God. Response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer tonight. 